Hello everyone, welcome back to All The Mods 8, episode 22, I believe. So, as I said, in between episodes, I've got together the things I needed for the Vindicator spawner. Uh, built the area. So I've got some tinted ethereal glass so I can come in and out. And I just need to fill in this top part and we'll be done building it. I didn't realize I hadn't filled in. So let's just grab my. Oh, this doesn't work very well, but I have my wand on me. I'm going to do this. And finish that up. Okay. We have the nether stars we need, the absorption hopper we're going to need and everything else in place and we have the bunch of vindicator spawners i don't have the um uh what's it called all the clocks and everything yet i'm gonna set this where it needs to be there we go. yeah that's in there which is good and we're going to set side to items, this side the fluids, and we're going to grab a chest, make this into a diamond chest. And how do we make this into a netherite one? The smith. Okay. Make that into a netherite chest real quick. We need a tank for all the XP that we're probably gonna we're going to get which I will set up uh, with um, uh, ender tanks at some point so we can transfer over to the other side do we have any sophisticated storage upgrade we're in here having more storage is gonna be ideal Just do two, two of them, two of them, two of them, two of them. Okay, so this will give me by sixteen. So a stack is six is sixty four times that by times that by thirty two essentially, and that's how much space we'll have in here. So grab a calculator. Figure that out. Uh, 64. 4 times 32. The so 2048 in each in each slot will be how much we can we can have in here. Let's grab all our Vindicator spawners. Of the nether stars and the the, the dragon eggs. I also need to put a lever underneath this. Grab a lever. Dig down in here. And we should be there, there, and then. Yeah, that's what we need. So we're not going to put the. We're going to switch it on just yet. Because I don't want to accidentally go into it and then I'm not gonna say I'm gonna get killed, but it probably will. It it will more than likely hurt. So let's get some grab some sort of building block, Maybe some cobble deep slate. We got 20, 20 something spawners: two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. If we go one, five, six, two there, go one,
what we should do as well get some redstone lamps and twelve now what I should do is put one there one on top of the one one there one there Fuck up Ah, perfect. There. Hopefully I can put a redstone on top of this glass. And we can set it so we can have this turn on and off. Well, turning it on for now will be our best bet because we don't want to get bombarded with um oh, cool i can we want to get bombarded with vindicators as we're doing this uh, probably that and grab a lever for now another one Don't have to worry about the spawners going off. Okay. We put one, two, five, seven, nine, seven, fourteen, fifteen, seventeen, eighteen. I'll do eighteen spawn. But Got away that. So, well, what else we're gonna need is we're going to need a bunch of clocks. We're gonna need a ridiculous amount of clocks. We're gonna need some sugar, and we're gonna need gas tears as well. But what I'm gonna do, I'll do the first one on camera so we can, we can see what I'm essentially doing, and then. I will do the rest off camera. I know we need fermented spider eyes for something. Need some tears. Oh, sweet. The fermented spider eyes will increase the spawn count. The gas tears give us our maximum ease. Then we need to do some wool. So it's muffled and then what we can do is if we go and look at spawner so ignores light we don't want that um spawn count we did max entities we did did the wool did the spawn delay don't want it I want to increase the hmm let's do chorus fruit I'm pretty sure I got some chorus fruit being weird a minute okay so we do have some chorus fruit I'm going to Learn there, and then the chorus route did what exactly again? Oh, it was the no AI, wasn't it? But brain dead. That's an achievement. Just do the chorus route on everything now, and the wool. Make everything silent with no AI, so really they won't. They will spawn and just do nothing. So, in so right now I'm going to go around and I'll be back once I've done this. Go around and put in all the clocks and the and the sugar and the eyes and tears and everything, so we can uh, get 
everything all maxed out to its maximum spawning. So I'll be right back. So I've got everything to its maximum. I had an issue with the guys spawning just outside but there. So I've got the... I looked up and if you take... Uh, I was wondering why some of these said with quartz and whatever. So like without quartz it adds it. With quartz it takes it away. So a blaze rod like increases the spawn range. And then a blaze rod with uh, with the nether quartz is a negative spawn range. So I dropped all the spawn ranges down to zero. Uh, down to two. They can only spawn in here. Um, I've also put the vector plates on top. So then if they do spawn on top. They're just going to get zipped off. And then down into this. So we're going to put in. So on this. This ignores players. So the dragon egg. Ignores conditions. Spawn ignores spawn conditions. So I assume. Me putting a nether star on all of this. These will ignore players, but they won't ignore the light level just yet. So I think I might leave it like it is without the dragon egg on there. Because this will ignore players. And if it's gonna ignore players, that means it's gonna run when I'm not when I'm not, not near it. But it should also run. So I can keep the the light. And then before we start lagging too much, pop that on. And hopefully I'll stop picking up all the all the stuff. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's an emerald farm. That is insane. Like, I'm gonna take my take my magnet off for a minute, whatever it is. There. I turn the lights back on because this cannot keep up in exporting the stuff that we need. So what I what I'm going to do real quick is uh, we're going to get some uh, mechanical pipes. We're going to get a logistic pipe. And uh, we're going to speed this up because like this is insane. The amount of drops that we have just gotten. This might not even let me pick it up because of the amount of stuff that's going to drop out of it. Oh no, it did. We put a logistical transporter there. We also need to find, in amongst all this... The... Chest. Oh, there's the chest. Put the chest there. Put our upgrades in. All of this back in. That can come up. And then we will get our... And we'll set you to pull. This might actually be even faster if I used... Um, uh... Transfer nodes instead of transfer nodes, uh, laser IO. So if I get a couple of laser nodes, one IO. So I need one fluid, two fluid cards, two item cards, two nodes, and some overclockers. Okay, so. That there, that there. So on this side, you will be an extract item, like so. And on this side, you will be an insert item. 
that's much better. Now on this side we will do an extract overclock fluid and then on this side we'll do an insert what we need to do we need to void all these axes so what we'll get now is a trash can we need a standard trash Right. So that there, and then we need another item card that will go in there, but we also need a filter. So we can filter out, pick up the trash can from it. A trash can for a moment. Put an item card in there that you with a filter to allow axes. But any axes and well, it looks like we got a bunch of armor coming out of here as well. And we do this allow, allow, allow. We put that there. Just dump all these axes into this. Looks like this still getting put in here. What I could do: put a filter on here and nigh any sort of axe with that that it was a helmet and deny the helmets as well emeralds go in there That's, this is a lot of axes, but it's because Vindicators use them. Damn it, why have they got to use axes? I could just, like, pull them out of here and then into a, a thing. Salvager, like I did on the other mob spawner. But... I don't think I'm going to need to do that. Uh, ominous banners can go on the deny list on here as well. On the allow list on here. Then everything else that's in here should just be those. Okay, and then that should be everything. That guy. Why isn't that guy getting killed? Ow! I didn't take any damage from that, but. Still, you can go away, you can go away, you, you, and you can go away, you can go away. And then what we'll do is that. So we should be getting zero axes in here at all. And yeah, we're sitting at what? 10,000 emeralds already in here. <laughs> That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Look how much EMC that is. And what I'm going to do, just because it's going to, it's going to like absolutely destroy my, uh, destroy my FPS, is we're just going to turn particles right off minimal. Because I'm already sitting down at 15 at the moment with, with all this going on. That is insane. If I'm not looking at it, it's fine. It's when I'm looking at it. Look at that. 14,000 emeralds. So 
you need to go into there and into there and you get trashed like why is he not picking up those emeralds it's not picking up everything that's insane or oh, it is but it's just like it's transferring out so quick Like the numbers are going up, but it's picking everything up. But it's just taking time because there's so much of it. That's crazy. That's absolutely insane. How much is there? That's that's insane. How many emeralds we're getting from this? So, you know, you see like in vanilla playthroughs and whatever people trying to get like <laughs> emerald farms yeah this is how you do it in modded this is how you make your emerald farms in modded <laughs> i don't need this shirt now i just dread to think how many emeralds we're gonna get eventually from that like if i had put dragon eggs on that and then that would have been like nothing whatsoever. It would just constantly run. That, that would be mental. Right, so the next thing we need to do is project E. And then we need these basic EMC links. It's all we need. We need to in input one item. So all we're missing two of these trans I mean, two of these transportation to tablets and, and an energy condenser. Okay, test. Boom. Energy condenser. This in eight dark matter. Tablets. Table. That. Right, because I don't have. Philosophers. Them. Them. There and it. this. And then we just load. Load. Yeah, and we get two items. Them and it filter. There. Item extract. Emerald. This will only allow emerald suit here. allow me to insert import export limit. maybe I've got a maybe I've got to specify that it's emerald hmm okay maybe I can do it Thirty-two. And netherite. Fitting. Oh, well, it's not done that way, is it? Transfer sixty-four items. But I need to make it infinite. 
create the infinity pipe and ATM star shard. Why is ATM star? Which is that? This transfer is 64 items. What I'm gonna do is emerald. Pop you there. Have the pipe range. Up. Filter. That's interesting. I've done it before like this. This one dude just sit. Made me. Don't understand why you wasn't dying. This is. Why doesn't this I've done it like this before? Hmm. Can be used to import EMC item and export items of fluids. Import export limit of one, one a second. But is that why it's taking so? But that should still that, those numbers should still go down. Like this should be transferring sixty four items a tick. But this can only accept one item a second. This should still be going down. Hmm. Okay. What I could do is if I make an energy condenser. Hmm. I don't know. You can't you can't input into the transmutation table. So I think what I'm gonna do that come So I need to figure out how to get these emeralds out of here. I'll be right back. I'm gonna check my other world and see how I got rid of it. Did it the same sort of way? Anyways, it should be. Did export chest into the? Maybe I got a hopper into it. If I nothing else has EMC in here, anyways, there. Ah, oh. oh, they don't. They did because I added EMC, and I added a bunch of EMC. Be expensive. Uh, so yeah, nothing else has EMC. So try. A hopper. Try using a hopper. New hopper. Let's take. He's only stacked. I don't want it to take. I don't want it to do that. Uh, Okay, so the emeralds work. Okay, so the hopper works, but I just need to filter it. Oh, there's a factory hopper? That one. If I make that factory I think with a factory hopper, I can filter it. Take a look at that real quick. Plenty of it. 
back in there. Factory hopper. Trigger. There's collection. Okay. Is efficiency. But I don't want it to do art. I can just let this fill up with emeralds because this only accepts one a second. Not doing it now. Oh, oh something happened there. Oh, the okay, 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 okay. I see. But I want it down here because this is faster, that's lower. Okay, so there we go. That that's gonna that should work. Back size is going down. So hopefully this will. I just need to increase the um uh the MC link. See, link. What's that? Table wormhole. So I think in between episodes, I'm going to try and get it so get to at least the violet. And if I can get to the violet one and take a stack a second, that'll be fine. And then we will be laughing on EMC because this thing is going to be totally busted. Like, it's just the amount of emeralds we're getting. It's weird that it doesn't input with a uh, with any sort of item pipes or anything. Like that, but I did it before with something, and I can't remember what, what I did it with. I swear I did it with it. I could just filter it. Yeah, I will take a look. Like, we're, we're gonna end the episode here, and I'm gonna take a look off camera between episodes on how I can do this without having to uh, use a hopper, and we will see if I can make this a little faster. So, until next time, ladies and jelly spoons. I will catch you later. Hope you have a good day, night, evening, wherever you're watching us from. See you soon.